Shalom. Call Allah, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. This is uh, is given to you to understand the mysteries of the kingdom. Is <clears throat> uh, Matthew 13, starting at verse 10. It says, uh, And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. This book is uh, the the Bible. The scriptures of is literally our history, heritage, laws, statutes, commandments, prophecies, uh, dark sayings, mysteries, uh, parables, everything. It's all of that. And uh, you you have to, uh, the Most High has to choose. You have to be chosen in order to get the mystery, in order to understand it. You know, to be able to break it down. And this is a gift that is not given to everyone. This is uh, <clears throat> Isaiah 29, starting at verse 9. It says, Stay yourselves and wonder, cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. Right, that's the philosophies of this world. You know, they drunk off the philosophies of this world and they stagger off those philosophies and everything that's taught here because everything that's taught here is contrary to the scriptures. Uh, Verse 10, For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and hath closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, hath he covered. Right? Because people are asleep. You know, and one reason why we say wake up, you awaken to this truth because once you get this knowledge and you begin to understand it, take it in, dissect it, eat the roll, uh, it it you wake up. You know, and uh, it says verse eleven, and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he says, I cannot, for it is sealed. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he says, I am not learned. Right? Because you can have the book in your hand. You can be reading it and have no understanding of what the book is, of, what these scriptures are actually saying. Just like if you remember... Uh, that movie in the book of Eli. Uh, well, you know, Denzel, he he carried that he carried the King James Bible with him. And uh it, it was basically the most important book in that time period. And uh by the end, when it was finally taken from him, they couldn't read it because it was in Braille, you know, so they couldn't understand it, they couldn't read it. You know, that's how powerful this book is. You can literally words on a page that can, you know, you can have the most educated man, the most learned man, and and they can read every single word in this book and still have absolutely no understanding of what it's actually saying. That's the amazement and the power of the mysteries of this of this book. Because it, it is given unto you, if you understand it, if he chosen you, it's given unto you to understand it. But to them, it is not given. And matter of fact, the rest of the world are blinded. Let's go to John chapter 15. Here it is. Uh, John 15 and 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Ye have not chosen me. We don't choose the Lord. You know, we don't choose him as our personal Lord and Savior. No, nothing like that. But I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should bring, should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Right? Because he chooses us. We don't choose him.
Now, uh, this is a uh, Yahweh. I was talking to the disciples, and it says, uh, Yahweh answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? Because it was all in his plan. It was all for, so for uh, prophecy to be fulfilled, for scripture to be fulfilled, for even one of the twelve to be a devil. But the key point is, he chose everyone. Although the twelve that walked with him, followed him, he, Yahweh chose. Now, they were chosen by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and given unto Yahweh Matter of fact, let me get that. Let's see. Get exactly that scripture. Yeah, here it is. John chapter 17. Wanna act up on me. Like this. Here it is. Um, read this section here. John chapter 17. I'm gonna start at verse 9. It says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Like I said earlier, the Most High, Yahweh gave, he chose, he chose whom he wanted, and he gave them unto Yahweh Shai, his son. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And if he chooses you, you won't fall out. You won't fall away. And uh, verse 11, And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee, Holy Father. Keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost. See? You're not gonna you're not gonna fall away. If he chose you, if he if the most high chose you and gave you unto your house, he's you're not gonna get lost. You're not gonna fall out. But the son of perdition that the scripture might be fulfilled. There he goes, right there. Um this, this last one I wanna get. Uh, this is Luke 24. Like I said, this is about the mysteries of the kingdom, and you gotta be chosen. To get the mystery, to understand them. Now, this is uh, after Yahweh Shai had risen from the dead. And this is what he said. <clears throat> Starting, I'm going to start at verse 44. It says, And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses, which are the first five books, uh, and in the prophets, which goes from Isaiah all the way to Malachi, and in the Psalms, and in the Psalms concerning me. So, that, that lets you know right there, when he, when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, he was teaching from the Old Testament. He was teaching from the Torah. He was teaching from the Pro. He, the whole, the whole time he was there, he kept saying, "Ye have heard, ye have heard, ye have heard." You know, or as the prophet says of old, they say it's of old. You know, he, he kept quoting from the Old Testament because that's that's what he was teaching from. 
But uh, the, my focus point is in verse 45 where it says, Then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. See, he has to open up your understanding. He has to open up your mind in order to even understand what this word, understand this book, the mysteries of the kingdom. He has to open your understanding in order to understand the mysteries of the kingdom. You know, so first, the Most High Yahweh has to choose you. Then he gives you to his son, Yahweh Shai. And then Yahweh Shai is given the power to open your understanding in order to understand the mysteries of the kingdom, these scriptures, everything that's being written in here. You know, it all goes back to you. You have to be chosen in order to understand these mysteries. In the, understand the mysteries of this kingdom mm -hmm. and the mysteries of the kingdom is basically the breakdown of the scriptures so with that hope you're edified I say Shalom